Wow. Yeah. We did it. 200. 200 podcast episodes. It's wild. Wild. <sighs> I feel like we should celebrate somehow. Definitely. Do something, you know? What are you thinking? I don't know. I just feel like we should pay homage to, you know, I don't know, where we came from, what the podcast used to be, you know, for the people who have been listening to us since the early days. Yeah, all the people who have been quoting Squat 680 for the last three years. That's a good idea. We could actually... We could squat some weight. All right, yeah. Yeah. Candice, uh, I'm going to get changed, but while I do that, can you bring in those weights? This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad free and an extra bonus episode, you can find that right now on our Patreon at patreon.com slash tiny dk. And if not, then enjoy this one. Holy fuck, Jamie! Can we get a clip of that deer hit? Get hit by that car? The mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. I'm gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my arse eaten. The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Come on, brother, you got it. I'm gonna take y'all through this lift right now that Noel's about to do. We got two, four, six, eighty on the bar, and he's doing one to two max, max reps. Let's do it, buddy. Let's go. Let's go. You got this. Come on. Come on. You got this. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Up, 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 up. Come on. Put it up. Put it up. Get that butt up. Come on. Get it up. Get it up. Let's go. Let's go, brother. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, light work, light work. You did it. You put it up. That's what I like to see. 680, put it down. Oh, my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Well, I'm going to have to deadlift it from the ground. Yeah. Deadlift? Yeah. All right. Yeah, put it up. All right, brother, take us through it. Get hype. Come on. Woo! It's my process. It's my process. Here he goes. Let's go. He's going in. I love you, Mom. 680. From the back. Use that ass. Get ready, brother. Get ready. And. Come on, come on. <laughs> 680, put it down. Oh my God. <laughs> 680, put it down. <laughs> I'm gonna vomit looking at this shit, dude. We gotta get this out of here. Oh my god, look at that. It's this. <coughs> <coughs> nice. You back in your. <laughs> yeah. Back in the old clothes. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cool. cool. Good to see it. You don't it's, you don't lift in leisure, okay? Yeah, that's true. Lifting and leisure do not cross. No, I I I purposely buy like Under Armour shit that's kind of hybrid yeah. so that I can wear it because you never know when you might lift. That's true. Like I'll just lift like as I'm walking down the street and I see some shit on the sidewalk, I'll you might lift just it. go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Like do 10, you know? Walking through a Costco, see a loose parking block. Yep. Get on your back. Yeah. Start pressing. Oh yeah. Easy. Yeah. What are you training for, dude? Life. <laughs> <laughs> you just never know, man. What are you training for? Hmm, ever heard of life? Ever heard of every damn day? I have, from that Jake Paul song. <laughs> every, you know, what's it called? Every damn it's day? It's every dang day. <laughs> every darn day, I believe it's called. 
What's, it's what's every that? darn day, brother. Oh, he made that song. Dang, it's every day. Dang, it's every day, Joseph. <clears throat> right? Yeah. Isn't that what it's called? By the way, everyone, uh, on this 200th episode, we we definitely, not definitely, but we want to say a huge thank you uh, to everyone who tuned into the live stream. If you didn't, uh, we got another one coming up. So, you know, you uh, definitely, you, you missed a hell of a show. You missed a hell of a night. That was so ridiculous, mm-hmm. unhinged. Yeah. It got Pure wild. Pure chaos. I mean, it got wilder than we ever thought it could. It was, I don't know. I, I'm not even trying to hype it up. Like, I don't know if you felt this way, but I came out of that feeling a totally different, I don't know. It was just, out of all the shows we've ever done, I've never felt anything like that. Can I just describe what happened? Yeah. Like, this definitely. isn't like ruining anything. Like, you know, if you miss it, you miss it. You won't get the, <clears throat> yeah, you the, won't. the, I don't know, the magic of the moment. But this is what fucking happened. So we... We had planned to do a live That's Cringe uh, to this video that's on Vice. It's like a Vice documentary that, that they did about this guy who is a freelance sperm donor. Yep. And his name is Kyle Gordy. And so we did it. We reacted to that video for about an hour, right? Yep. And it's it's kind of a wild ride because at the start you're like, this guy is weird. And then you're like, this is weird. This is weird. <laughs> this whole concept is weird. F- freelance sperm donor in the sense where he gives away his sperm to women yeah for free doesn't charge them and it's like lesbian couples and so at this beginning you're like oh maybe this guy's doing a good deed and then it gets kind of weird and so we're watching this video for an hour and we're kind of like this guy's kind of a villain you know like he's a bizarre dude yeah and then we uh played the cody and noel do and as that was playing we like basically someone that had watched the live live stream was like snitched on us and dm'd him it was like hey cody and noel are watching your video right now and he dm'd us back and we ended up getting him on a zoom call for the last like half an hour yeah of the show and i mean it could not have been more unhinged i yeah. keep using that word but that's like the perfect word to describe it it was just fucking bizarre at the everyone was you know <laughs> i could feel the tension behind the the console I could feel everyone's tension <laughs> through the whole ship. I could feel the panic yeah. of when can we cut this off? <laughs> it was like a car crash. Oh, yeah. Like all the tweets were like, oh, my God, this is incredible. But like I wanted to stop so bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chat was going crazy. I can't look away. But yeah. how, how do I look away? Yeah. Chat was just like, w- what? Like, no, like I no mean, more. He basically answered the Zoom call and he was like, hey, sorry, my mom's screaming at me right now. Uh, You know, like. It, she's making me like she's moving out soon though, so I can finally jerk off in peace. It's hard to jerk off when she's listening to television upstairs way too loud. That was the like, first ten dude, seconds. What? Yeah, that was the first ten seconds of the call. We're like, what? What? Yeah. So you're for real then? Yeah, we didn't really know what we got into, but you know, um, uh, he he definitely spoke to us. That much we can say. Yeah. And <clears throat> but I, outside of that, you know, it just the show itself was like just. A, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Carrington from Love Island was on. He was uh he was our bartender. He was bringing us drinks. That was cool. Yeah. Um, Shout out to him. Thanks for coming out. I had a I had a hand I had a good handful. <laughs> yeah. I had a, you know, a decent amount. Yeah. I was definitely buzzed. Oh yeah, I went out afterwards to and, celebrate. And just <laughs> Yeah. I just it the next day was not fun. Friday. Yeah. I messaged. We had the, meetings, and I almost messaged the thread, and was like, "I can't do these fucking meetings." Yeah, but I was like, "No, what? Do you, what are you doing?" You you messaged me, and I I forgot what I said, and you just replied, "I'm hung the fuck over." <laughs> yeah, it was not a not a fun day, but it was a it was a fun show, and and so yeah, we just want to say thank you, and uh, what you know, we're gonna do another one, I think. End of September is the plan or something like that, but yeah. we'll see. We're planning it right now. We're going to lean into this unhinged, chaotic nature yeah, that seemed know. to work so well because it was it was just fun, you know? I was nervous at first. I was still- Like, literally, when we started, because, you know, there was a lot more people here mm-hmm. that beamed up to help with the mm-hmm. production and everything, and so it's like, felt like a real live show. I was like, fuck, yeah. we got we to gotta make jokes. This isn't like a standard thing. Yeah. We're just sitting here. Yeah. 
it was i was, was nervous dope. and then like we started drinking a little bit and started to get like well you know dare loosey. i say unhinged <laughs> it was getting loosey it was getting loosey <laughs> and we started just becoming you know filthy boyos a couple of filthy boyos man it's filthy little deviants yeah but no it's it's crazy that uh we could uh, do that yeah that's the main thing i took away from it was pretty crazy thing to be like yo we're just gonna try this weird format and anyone could be like oh it's just like a it's like any other live stream it, it was not no it was just with the amount of stuff we had planned and yeah. like the different moments and yeah. it, it 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 felt cool to like do something with that much effort again so yeah thank, thank you, you thank you so much if you tuned in mm -hmm. it means the world and thank you if you've been rocking with us since the beginning we're 200 episodes in now yeah and uh i mean i think that we owe a, a big thank you to you yeah and it's it really is genuinely crazy you know when you look at the start of the podcast matter of fact i think i think luke and the team have prepared a little flashback for us so why don't we just get emotional for a second and take a trip through time four years ago told you <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. Hi. Reporting live from my living room, this is the Tiny Meat Gang Podcast, yes. episode one. One, one, one. <laughs> and your asshole smells like spearmint afterwards? Yeah. No, yeah. I'm kidding. I don't know. What, what is that it's outfit? Definitely not spearmint. Look at my get boots. My face down there. Is, I, I can confirm. It definitely smells like spearmint. So, no, yeah. I'm good. Kanye Breast, oh. Lodge Dick, Maxo <laughs> Creams. Lodge Dick? Yeah, Lodge Dick. Lodge Dick. Maxo I forgot. Creams. Come. Forgot Cody all about Cone, this. Yeah, Cody <laughs> yeah. Malone Brown. You heard this fool? Wow, that no. was 150? Malone Brown dick in your mouth. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> Damn. Damn. Short and sweet. I was really enjoying that. Yeah, I know. I wanted it. I kind of wanted to see more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Canva. Making content is an essential part of what we do to keep this show going, but it hasn't always been a seamless creative process. I mean, when we back when we were doing everything ourselves, thumbnails, mm -hmm. editing, everything, mm -hmm. like that stuff just takes so much time and yep. uh, because it's inefficient. But, you know, ever since we found Canva Pro, we can design anything like a pro on any device. Yeah, Canva Pro is a design platform that empowers you to create and share stunning content in just a few clicks. Whether you're a design professional or just getting started, designing with Canva Pro is amazingly fast and fun. Choose from thousands of professionally made templates that are easy to customize with simple drag and drop features or start from scratch. <laughs> Canva Pro comes with endless premium fonts, photos, videos, and so much more that add personality and edge to whatever you're <clears throat> designing. Sharing, creating, and organizing designs as a group has never been easier. Never. Canva Pro helps you stay on top of team projects all in one place. No more misplaced files or tedious back and forth. With Canva Pro's Content Planner, you'll save time planning, creating, and posting social media content too. <laughs> Pause scheduled posts and edit them at any time. So design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now, you can get a free 45-day extended trial when you use our promo code. Just go to canva.me slash tinymeat to get your free 45-day extended trial. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash tinymeat. Canva.me slash tiny meat. Whoa, bro. <laughs> wait, wait, pull up that pull up pull Episode up uh, that 50. video again and go back to that outfit that I had on. I think we gotta tear into this a little bit. Oh, definitely. Episode one. One, one. <laughs> yeah. And then your asshole smells like spear. <laughs> what, what am I what is this? Yeah. What are those boots? You were bro, you were fully embracing the West Side look. You were I'm surprised I didn't have one of those stupid fucking felt hats. <laughs> All right, man. I'm just gonna I'm gonna leak. Um, <laughs> I feel like it's relevant, but just because of the way you look. But a uh, a line in my new set that I'm doing on Wednesday is, <laughs> I think me, you, and some, people are gonna get some strays here, but it's fine. Danny, Curtis, and Drew. A good reason why. We blew up on YouTube is because we all looked like lesbians <laughs> for the beginning of our careers. <laughs> I mean, you guys yeah. still do. I cut my hair and I don't. I don't have. I just more. got more. 
Yeah, you got more uh, yeah. lesbian. Yeah, yeah, you're butch as hell now. <laughs> but right here, yeah, you <laughs> definitely look like a lesbian. <laughs> what am I doing? Dude, the fucking the Chelsea boots, man, <laughs> with the forest green sweater. I mean, I'm I'm not I'm not any better. Like, what if, what is going on? <laughs> I got the most sixth grader outfit possible. Yeah, those gumshoe Vans. It's a little bit like clout gang too. Yeah, the distressed jeans. Oh, it's it's bad though. It looks disconnected. Like the kid, like <laughs> you this... match the shoes to the. We both did. We matched the shoes to the, the furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, how ugly was this fucking studio? Awful. What? What is this? Because you know what it we, was. Like, why we put down the carpet and the chairs, and we're like, ah, oh, this is good. No, because our plan was to do the uh, the typical podcast thing where we're gonna cover all the walls with wood. Was it? Yeah, oh, yeah, it was. And then we looked into the cost, and we were like, wait, <laughs> no, nah, that's way too much. Two hundred dollars? No, no. no. <laughs> It was way more than that. Was it? Yeah, and we didn't like we didn't know any set builders, so But you gotta remember we still were not making money from the podcast at this point. No. It started making money around now because I remember this is where we took the call with the advertisers. Yeah. It was in this room. Yeah. But I think like this episode, we still had zero dollars from this podcast besides YouTube ad revenue, which was nothing. Yeah. I mean and and I mean like the Patreon was definitely covering like the production. Oh, yeah, Patreon stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah duh. But um, I'm stupid. No, but I think that you know brings up a good point is about all of the show, which is, uh, I I feel like you know early on, not, not many people know this, but you made a point like you were like, all right, dude, let's just figure out how we can just take everything and put it back into the show. Yeah, and I think that has definitely been what's carried us to this point. Oh yeah, like, it's made it so much more fun. Yeah. Well, just it it feels good knowing that like when obviously when you guys like support like we just look at the income we're like what's the weirdest craziest thing we could do yeah um we used to have ideas all the time with like what we just did with the weight yeah. with the weights where we were like yeah that'd be funny but we just like and don't that's have it resources that's like well maybe one day we'll do it yeah and now it feels good you know that we can actually make that shit come to life mm -hmm. also because all you thanks know. to the wonderful ship and the wonderful team here yeah. You know, it helps to have a state-of-the-art system that can literally warp Looking in. Looking at you. <laughs> literally warp in anything at any time, yeah. so. But yeah, the, fuck, the original DDP, now I'm just getting all nostalgic. This is, this is nuts, though. Yeah. Yeah, I would have liked to see a few uh, tour episodes in there. Yeah. Let's <laughs> fucking... What a nightmare that year was. Yeah. We really have to thank you all for sticking through us or sticking with us through that period. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the episodes that we did on tour. Yeah. yeah those were complete ass. When I would, you know, Cody would go eat a, a beignet and I would text him and be like, all right, man, we have to do two episodes in a broom closet. We're like, it's our day off. Why? Or it's right before the show. Yeah. And my ass was like, nah, man. So let's just do it, man. Let's get it done now. People need the podcast. They need it. Bro. We have to provide. <laughs> what are people going to do? We're going we to ruin their ruin Saturdays. Their, no, we have to ruin people's Saturdays. <laughs> their weekend's going to be too relaxing. <laughs> Noel, you have to chew into a mic for these people. Dude, I'm just thinking about the episode in Australia when we were in that conference room. Yeah. <laughs> the oh, the yeah, lady just opened the door and you're like, hey. Hey, what's up? <laughs> they just walked out and you're like, what the fuck was that? What are you <laughs> no, doing? didn't they say some shit to us? Yeah, like, they said something. They were kind of rude. Yeah, and we were like, "Do yeah. you not see what's happening here? <laughs> yeah. We're in the middle of a fucking recording. Is that not completely obvious right here?" Bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> we like shit. we had reserved the conference center. Yeah. So it was uh, like we had did nothing wrong, and she was like giving a tour, and she opened the door, and she's like, "This is the conference room, I think." And we oh, yeah, and she was just like, yeah, sort of yeah, talking through what we were doing. Um, I remember being really excited there too because the internet was good. Yeah, which is just not a thing at hotels still. Twenty twenty one, there and the internet at every hotel in the world is yes. absolute dog shit. Yeah, you would you would get booked all year every single day if you just did a marketing campaign for your new hotel about how good the Wi-Fi is. Yeah. Right? Yep. People would be like, oh, definitely, I'm going there. I'm, I don't even, I have no plans to go to fucking Albuquerque, but I'll go there just to, <laughs> just to use that Wi-Fi at the hotel. Yeah, there need to be hotels 
it or gigabit is offered. Yeah. And if you just had a bulletproof wireless network, oh man. Yeah. You'd have, you know, if, if assuming touring comes back, you'd have every band, every whoever trying to stay there. Yep. It would be a, we should just build one, man. Yeah. In Albuquerque. Yeah. The worst town ever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I realized? There's, there's like no hotels in Malibu. There aren't. It's crazy. That's got to be a somewhat of an opportunity. I feel Maybe like the permits are hard to get. Yeah, that's probably it. Mm. And I bet you all the rich people up there don't want tourists. I, yeah, I mean, it's like entirely tourists as it is. Yeah, but I just mean like they probably don't want them staying there. It's some like elitist shit. Yeah. It's like you can just, eat the yeah, fish. You can, you can drive through. But stay yeah, down go there. Go to Dukes. Yeah. Go to the pier. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy, but just get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> Once they close up shop, close your mouth and leave. <laughs> and leave. Yeah, that's what they want. Now I'm just uh, going through my head. What other? Um, we had. Oh, it was. I think it was. It was at Penn State. We did it in like a dressing room. Yeah. It was that episode, I and mean, we did several <clears throat> in dressing rooms. Mm-hmm. I mean, back of the bus episodes were always. Those were fun. Yeah. Turn off the AC. Yep. Sit in the heat. Yep. All that. Yep. But now we're here and uh it's 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 great. Um Yeah, it's great. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool, I guess. Yeah, it's all right. It's like whatever. It's it's eh. Uh. Uh. You know, we've never missed an episode. Besides the one bonus we miss <laughs> for for many months. In the first, we were doing one bonus a month. Yeah. And we would just miss three months. Yeah. And then we'd have to like make them all up. Yeah. Yeah. We went on a spree when, oh, and it was the worst when you left. And then I had to do the one with, uh, you know, I, was, I just was Marcus, like, yeah, I was yeah. like, the one with me and Marcus was good. Yeah. That t- people to this day still say like, that's one of their favorite episodes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Just because they love hearing from Marcus. <laughs> and what about Sam? Uh, It doesn't matter because Sam doesn't talk. Oh, yeah, right. But you did one with him, didn't you? Yeah, we did. And he didn't say shit. It was me, (laughs) Sam, and Spock. I think Marcus was there, too. Uh, Yeah. And then we had a couple more like that. That, Yeah, that was rough. Um, That's when you had to... I think you just had to dip because of your visa. Oh, yeah, probably. You had to just leave. Yeah. and So So I could come back in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now I'm stuck here right now. Oh, that's right. Six months. Now you can't go anywhere. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I was going to go anywhere. Yeah. Actually, I kind of wanted to go to Australia again. If you can get in. my birthday, but. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess you can't, right? Well, they're yeah. They're like sixth lockdown. Do you know that? In Melbourne? Yeah. Melbourne. And Sydney, Melbourne. They're like, people are just protesting. They're just like walking on the streets like, no, we're not doing it again. That's crazy. There's like four cases in the last month. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Purple. <laughs> the color for the color purple. No, purple the company. Doesn't it seem like the world's against us from getting a good night's sleep this time of year? It is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it you can talk about is, this. Dude. Slanted Go beds. about my bed slant. Slanted for beds. Half an hour, but I won't. <laughs> Listen, it's important to have a good mattress, okay? Uh, and when you have a purple mattress, you can sleep cool and comfortable no matter what the world throws at you. You know why? That's because only purple mattresses have the grid. Its unique ventilated design allows airflow through to help you sleep cool even when it feels like a thousand degrees out. And the grid is amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, neck, and hips no matter how you sleep. Unlike memory foam, which remembers everything, the grid bounces back as you move and shift. So you never get the I'm stuck feeling you do with memory foam. Oh, where did this come from? Wow. (laughs) Wow, is that the grid in there? It certainly is. I mean, this is... It's very impressive. It's extremely soft, and it's cooling. You can feel the ventilation. Yeah. Tell them how they can get it. <clears throat> well, you can try your Purple mattress risk-free with free shipping and returns. Financing is available, too. Purple is comfort reinvented. Right now, you'll get 10% off of any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash TMG and use the promo code TMG. That's purple.com slash TMG, promo code TMG. For 10% off any order of $200 or more. Purple.com slash TMG, promo code TMG, terms of life. The thing is, like, I don't understand what the long-term play is for Australia. Like, they're 
like if it's going to be with us forever, which everyone here now is saying it is. Yeah. Then what are they going to do? They either like don't allow visitors ever for the rest of time or eventually like everyone there is going to have to get it. Are they just waiting for people to get vaccinated? Maybe that could be because nobody there is getting vaccinated. Oh, just by choice. Yeah. It's like super low percentage because they're like, we don't need to. There's no cases here. Interesting. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not super um, in the know about all that, but let me know if you're in Australia. I'm, I'm actually really curious. Yeah. So Cody can go there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Dude, just take like all the vaccines and they'll let you in. Yeah. Yeah. Just take every single one. Okay. And you should be fine. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Six booster shot. I love Jeff. <laughs> Jeffrey Gates. <laughs> Jesus, man, that that squat really took it out of me. Yeah, you feeling it? I'm feeling it a little bit. <laughs> Definitely feeling it. You hungry? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I could eat. You spewed up a bunch of food there, so I could definitely eat. I'm I'm going through my mind for more great pod moments. Oh, I mean the coveted Post Malone episode. Oh yeah, the one and only. Yep, we were in uh, at the Four Seasons, right? Oh, uh, well, well, he was. <laughs> we were across the street. Yeah, we weren't staying there. We were staying. Yeah, we were somewhere else. Yeah. But that's where we recorded it. Mm-hmm. In, and that, in his room. Yeah, we recorded in his room. And that was my that was our first production nightmare where I went back to my hotel and I edited all night, cutting out all the dead pockets of reverb <laughs> to make it listenable. And I, and I did that. I remember starting that being like, ah, I'm a fast editor. I'll knock this out in an hour. And I looked at my phone. And it was an hour before the bus was going to leave because we were going with him to the Reading Festival. Oh, right. So I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I slept for 30 minutes. I woke up and then we got on and we were going. And then I remember you took the laptop <laughs> and you did it. And I was like napped and I woke up and I was like, how far did you get? You're like, I made it like five minutes. I don't know how you did that shit, dude. <laughs> and then you were like, I'm sorry. I tried. I was like, it's fine. And I took it. And then we went and watched him perform. And then I went back to the bus and finished the rest of it. And I remember I tried to get up really early the next day to get an Uber to the hotel. But like, I'm an idiot. I've never really been to a festival. So I like went up to the security and I was like, hey, man, I'm trying to get to this hotel. Like, um, do you think I could get a, uber there and the guy just like looked at the open field that we were in he's like you could try <laughs> and i was like oh fuck and I, we're not in a city yeah and i remember looking at the map it was like a cartoon or something where i zoomed out on the map and it's, just all, it's green. all green <laughs> i'm like just not a single road yeah i'm like well, <laughs> in the middle of a giant field yeah yeah and i was like there's no way i'm like well, i'm not getting over how there the fuck yeah how the fuck so then i remember f- Finished editing on the bus, like into the night, and then, uh, oh, what happened? No, no, no. It was it was done the night before ish, and then he played Redding, and then the Jake, <laughs> the first KSI Logan fight was that night. Okay, remember and we yes. watched it. Yep, yep. And then, oh yeah, yeah, in Redding at the hotel, right, or in Leeds. yeah. And then we yeah. we had to figure out like. Basically, th- there was no room on the buses. Yeah. And so we had to like figure out a train. Yeah. Oh, no, he was going, he was still on the road and he was like, you can stay with me on the road. And we we're like, dude, we can't. Like, we have to go home. Yeah. We had to figure out how to get home. That was nuts too. Yeah. Um, no, we went to Paris first. No, that's right. No, yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. We had no, tr- we had to figure out how to get to Paris and then we, we took that underwater train, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. What's that called? The tube? The, no, it's not the tube. No, it's not the tube, but it is the, the name for that train. It goes under the ocean. Um, the Swimmy Swimmy Express. Yeah, the Swimmy. Yes, yes. I'm yeah, the, sorry. isn't it? Yeah, the Finding Nemo. Yeah. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> Jesus. <fuck>. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember we woke up late that morning to get the train, and we were shitting bricks. I remember we were like, because it was so hard to get a cab there, and uh. Also, we're Americans, so we don't, we've never in cobble, encountered cobblestone anything. Yeah. So I just I have that distinct memory of our bag just going. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, yeah, just the like, channel. That's what it is. The channel. The channel. Oh yeah, yeah the, the channel. channel. Yeah. Um. And then you know what was crazy? We were talking about that that this weekend. Like before the trip, that was when we were watching Love Island, and Kelsey and I were like, God, it would be so cool if we met someone. Like we're going to London tomorrow. 
what if we met someone from Love Island? Because it had just finished, right? Mm-hmm. And we were like, nah, it's never going to happen. And then two days later, we were Selfridges. in Suffrages. And Wes walks by. Yeah, what a weird, just so bizarre. And then we ended up like partying with him and Meg at the Reading Festival, right? Yeah, they were there for a minute. Yeah. There's a whole lot of people moving through there. Yeah. And crazy thing, I don't know if we've ever mentioned this, but when we did our UK, yeah, our UK run, and I think Australia, no, we use local people, but our UK merch dude, um, shout out Marlon, he took a picture with Post and and we walked by him in that moment. Okay. Yeah, like I, I have, fu- it blew my fucking mind because Marlon showed me the picture. And he wasn't working for us yet. No, we didn't no, no. know him. We didn't know him at all. So I remember this moment. We were walking in to get food, all of us as a group, and Marlon was standing outside smoking. And Post goes, Hey, can I have a cigarette? And then Marlon goes, Yeah, for sure. Do you mind if I get a picture? And so they exchanged. And, and Marlon showed me the picture, and I'm bugging out, and I'm like repeating the exchange. And Marlon's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then we're both like confirming the story. And it's just like, that like on the other side of that camera was us what that's weird as fuck crazy bro so crazy wow that's weird yeah <laughs> fucked me up when he freaking me out yeah no it, we were both looking at the pictures and just because then two years later somehow he was who our team hired to do merch for us in yeah. europe yeah and he was working for some other band then uh like that's why he was I backstage forget who he was working for but yeah he was doing merch for someone else that's weird as fuck yeah well, shout out to our boy marlon yeah. it, was, it was meant to be bizarre bizarre things so here we are yeah on the ship now reminiscing what a ride what, what a ride a ride you know to celebrate the 200th episode i thought we could let out one of our clones oh Okay. You sure? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? We haven't gotten it right, though. It's like they're still all fucked up. It might be weird. Yeah, it'll be okay. And just to interview them or what? Yeah, we just talk to them. Okay. They have the same brain, I'm pretty sure. As the... Yeah, the originals. Uh, Oh, I see. You know, as far as, you know, I don't know what rating system they use for Pokemon cards, but we're we're damn near perfect with the, you know... Yeah, with the brain, but we still don't have the nerve function. Yeah, all that exactly stuff is correct. Kind of yeah, up. so yeah, but it's okay. He might be in pain when he gets up here. We'll see. As long as he can talk, it's all right. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's do it. Let's call him up. Hey, Candace, could we get uh, Josh Richards' clone up here, please? I'm freezing now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, Ooh. Uh, Oh shit! There he is, right over there, man. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Good to see you, man. You all right? No. No. Damn. Everything hurts. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Excruciating pain, actually, forever. So we did not get his skin right. Yeah, we really fucked it up. Damn. We just want to apologize, dude. It was. You think, eh? Yeah, it was an experiment that kind of. We, we got poorly. pretty close though we got very close we just kind of fucked up yeah the face the face yeah. big time yeah and the nerve endings no yeah it the... sucks to jerk off does it sucks you can jerk off down there yeah clones get up to it do they what else are we gonna do yeah i guess that's true yeah they are just in those cages all yeah, yeah that's true yeah so like you jerk off and like bryce is like right beside you i mean sometimes sometimes they like we switch around a right. little like team jerk. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool. Huh. Weird. Progressive, man. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. So damn, thanks for thanks for coming up, mm. dude. Yeah, thanks for letting me out. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> no, it's dope to be like in a different room for once. So <laughs> it's sick. We should definitely let you out more. I I feel like that's kind of mean. Yeah. yeah. We don't really spend enough time with our clones. I know. So But it's the two hundredth episode, so yeah. we thought, why the fuck not? Yeah, just Let's let spend some time. You out. I'm here. I'm here. In there pain. <laughs> and you have the same brain as Earth, Josh. The sa- yeah. I, just not the same life at all. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Is that weird? And experience obviously more pain, as we were saying. Right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Is it just always pain? Doesn't end. Okay. 24 hours a day? 24. Maybe 25. Wow. We really fucked that up. We did fuck yeah. that up. Dang. See, this, <sighs> the stand accounts are really going to misinterpret that as well. 
Yeah. Oh, he's always in pain. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm in pain, as I once said. Good quote. <laughs> Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Amazon Music. If you're looking for a ready lineup of binge-worthy podcasts plus free streaming music, you have to check out Amazon Music. Amazon Music is more than 10 million free podcast episodes to listen to, including this one. But Amazon Music isn't just for listening to podcasts. They have thousands of music stations and top playlists to stream for free. And no matter how you're listening to or it or what you're listening to you can even go hands-free with alexa get the app and enjoy free listening anywhere on all your favorite devices there's no credit card or subscription required it's that easy bada bing bada boom if you've never tried amazon music what are you waiting for you're gonna love it just as much as i do start listening for free today head over to amazon.com slash tmg that's amazon.com slash tmg to stream thousands of music stations and over 10 million podcast episodes for free amazon.com slash tmg what are you waiting for bro well uh, thanks for coming on bro so what are you up to these days i mean i oh my bad. dungeon yeah so. the real josh sorry right yeah I mean, him, uh, shit, I guess the biggest thing right now is probably the production company he has with Mark Wahlberg. That, he has or you have? Well, he, because I'm the clone. So okay, it's like, okay, got right? it. Right, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. right. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. have shit. He I, don't, I got pain, <laughs> like we shit. said. Yeah, I just hurting again every day, all day. Yeah, we so. got some Advil in the back we can give you. No, so. that'd be sick. I, yeah, I don't we know if Advil will fix that. but <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a... Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I need some fucking ointment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can no, get yeah. you that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something. Yeah, just don't look in the mirror. Um, yeah, so, none of them. You guys have deprived us of mirrors, so we can actually only imagine what we look like. <laughs> it's not pretty, unfortunately. No, thanks. What yeah, kind of you actually could have lied. It made me feel better. No, it's rough. <laughs> it looks bad. It's tough for me to look at right now. It's like exactly what ugly people wished the real you looked like. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah, I see where I, I see what you're saying for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's like yeah. anyone who envies the real Josh's perfect skin. Mm. This is what they wished you looked like. <laughs> maybe, That's maybe. A little dark. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Maybe the, a little maybe real. The, the clone, the clone as me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so maybe they get more followers and just the relatable factor. You know, they just play that card. That's true. Yeah. 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 So maybe you guys should really let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> no because then you'd be more popular than us and that'd be the fucking worst i actually can't wait to see the fan cams after this just yeah these are the most perfect boils i've ever seen <laughs> and they have Stand no idea. him for being so confident in the boils <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> zombie wait zombie josh though yeah. the crazy part is they're not even gonna know that it's not the real him yeah right that's man? true yeah so uh, oh my god the way his jaw is hanging out of his skin mm. <laughs> cut me with Wait, that jaw. i love his jaw Wait, his jawbone's so hot <laughs> he's so structured <laughs> see i told you he was perfect <laughs> look at the way his bones run <laughs> oh my god the pus running out of the wounds <laughs> his perfect pus <laughs> I, wanna, uh, I would eat up his pus honestly oh no oh my god <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, ow. <laughs> <laughs> laughing hurts too <laughs> jesus christ so real josh has a production company with mark Wahlberg. yeah and yeah. it's going well lucky son of a bitch but no yeah he he seems to be doing good with it um Doing a lot of projects right now, focusing a lot on Unscripted because it's teamed up with Mark's Unscripted uh, production company. So Damn. that's Are unrealistic. you a co-owner of this? The Josh's, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I'm going to keep referring to you, you as Josh. Like, yeah, let's just do that now. Yeah, look, yeah, yeah I mean, so identical. I don't have to keep correcting. Besides yeah. the fucked up face, yeah. you guys look almost identical. Mm. So yeah, that's my bad. But no, it's good. You <laughs> as gotta in Earth remind Josh. him that his face is yeah, fucked no. up every five seconds. <laughs> no, it's sick. It's sick, actually. <laughs> It's like imagine I reminded you were short every time I talked to you. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that? <laughs> um, yeah. Is, yeah. The real Cody is six foot five. Right, right, right. They, that's the clone they fucked as well. Up. <laughs> they yeah. fucked you up yeah, as yeah. well. <laughs> just a couple fucked up guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what no one knows is we're just clones of the real us. The real us. Yeah, where those guys at? Tall, yeah. ripped, dude, huge Jack, penises. Huge. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say. Gigantic penises. Yeah. yeah. Sick hair. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they got that one right. Yeah, I guess they got that part right, eh? 
<laughs> the real me is fucking bald as shit. <laughs> Uh, so yeah you're doing yeah. unscripted shit with mark Wahlberg. that's crazy yeah no that's that's been uh, a, a dream i mean it was always like looking at him as an idol because of his ability to pivot right yeah he, he went from being that marky mark in the funky bunch to being that calvin klein model and then pivoting and now being this mega uh, movie star and utilizing that to build his entrepreneurship right yeah. so it's like how i how it's kind of like perceived to me is I'm in that same position he was when he was like that Marky Mark or like he was that Calvin Klein model, right? Like, I feel like that's how people look at TikTok today is kind of the same as like the one hit wonders of back then or yeah. like the guys that blew up in a fad. Yeah. And it's both built off the same thing. Like, can't argue TikTok's built off of like that lust, right? It's it's kind of built off of like, oh, you got a crush on this person or whatever, sure, right? Yeah. A lot oh, of the time. I love time. your boils. I love your Yeah, yeah like your boils yeah. are so fucking hot. Puss all yeah, over yeah, me. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, so... <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was intense. <laughs> that was fucking intense. I just have to point out the sheer difference in fans. You know, like people who listen to us is like, oh, you guys are getting fatter and uglier. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting fatter. We've That's never really my those have that has been the main comment I've gotten for the past six years. Yeah, yeah. right. So just like you're an old weight, guy, <laughs> you're getting fatter. We can't exactly relate to like that lust aspect. Right, right. Yeah, but right. TikTok, for example, for sure, right? Yeah, yeah like, no one goes on your TikToks and is like, "Wow, mid L yeah. right. ratio." You're kind of getting fat. Yeah, <laughs> they might be like, "Yo, dude, hit some legs." Like, <laughs> yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. But but no, no. So like, you you feel like you're in this phase where. You're just kind of like a bit of like a poster boy. And like well, I feel like I was, and I feel like I'm on the phase now where it's like I'm I'm no, getting out yeah, of there. And people yeah, are moves. starting to yeah, people yeah. are starting to recognize like, it, but yeah. they're like they're still waiting to see. Yeah. I'm impressed. Like, All right, where's it gonna go? I'm impressed with what you Griffin and Michael have been able to do. Like, it's thank you, man. Really impressive, and I think that what's cool about your relationship with Michael is that it's kind of the next evolution of yeah. the Hollywood manager agent yeah, type 100%, relationship 100 percent. i kind of feel like you know in 10 years it'll it'll basically all like agents will take the role of business partner yeah and mm -hmm. it'll be like we're gonna focus on one person and i'm gonna we're gonna like go in 50 50 on everything yeah and yeah. you know well it, it'll less so be like i have 50 clients mm -hmm. and well, i make sure they're all getting some sort of business yeah. agents incentives aren't aligned with the creator i don't think ever I don't think you can ever have like an agent's incentives be aligned with yours because <clears throat> they're never going to be for the longevity play. Yeah. And if you're trying well, to set yourself really up, true. but what agent is like always thinking, oh, I'm going to keep this huge star client for 10, 15 years. That doesn't happen. Yeah. Guys jump around from their agents. So agents are always like, all right, I have them now. I got to, I got to capitalize on this for the next two years while I have them. Mm. So they're not, they, they can't own equity either. Right. So it's like, Oh, they're not going to build a company with you. They're going to go and make you sell out to all these brands or they're going to make you do these brand deals. Maybe not sell out. That's not the right word. Like go and do these brand deals. But then in two years, especially when you're looking at someone that's a social media influencer, that's your average lifespan. Like you've been in this game forever. Both of you, you've seen the guy, people go up and down and up. Yeah, like remember yeah. when Jacob Sartorius was the shit type thing? Like, yeah. Well, that's what I was going to say is that like, you know, I don't know if it like the Vine MagCon kids just got famous at the wrong time or what, but yeah. it seems like, you know, they had the same sort of thing where it's like they blew up on Vine and girls were like lusting after them. Yeah. And so they like turned that into a tour for a little bit. They did mm -hmm. MagCon stuff, but then it seemed like all of them kind of like just fizzled out. And yeah. you guys are all creating empires. I mean, like, like <clears throat> all of you are like doing like, half of you have fucking music careers the other half are yeah uh everyone seems and entrepreneurs music careers now fucking crazy yeah what swear, everyone has a music career it's yeah everyone has a music career yeah yeah exactly <laughs> I'm, I'm just a diss track god so it's whatever or i should say real josh is so it's whatever signed a record deal off it i think but i don't know because i'm not him so <laughs> Jesus. yeah you're just the, you're just the man i'm just here. yeah <laughs> <laughs> no i mean it you talked a lot about like producing like is that it seems like that's something you want to do a lot of. Like, oh, yeah. I, yeah. It was like, I, I've i always loved, like, when whenever we were we were hanging out all together, all the boys, it was always, like, me me being the one that's, like, putting, that, putting like, certain content together. I'd be like, sure. all right, let's do this, this, and this. Like, let's just try to get this together. Like, let's put, so, and Bryce was good at it, too, actually. Bryce was really good at, like, uh, filming his content. I would say he's, like, one of the best entertainers, I would say. Like, he's just able to put asses in seats. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, it's like... <clears throat> I think just ever since like I was younger, I've always just been in love with movies too. Like 
we'd watch a movie when I was younger with my friends and I'd be like, all right, assigning people fucking roles, like getting everyone, like we'd reenact it, like be running around outside, like when we were seven reenacting movies. So it's always just been something like I, I've loved so much. Yeah. And uh, always looked up to Mark, always looked up to Will Smith and, and they've just been like kind of those two idols for me and like my path with with movies and everything and, oh, yeah. and social media. Is Will Smith involved too? Or no, just but he's head? just been the idol. Like he's just been the <laughs> okay, idol. Okay. Like Mark and him. So one day, hopefully the real Josh meets, meets Will Smith. <laughs> the real Josh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that for him. Yeah. For me, yeah, I'll, for just, me, be I'm in, just, for me, I'll just be in pain. It's <laughs> fucking whatever. <laughs> Jerking off maybe, in pain. <laughs> maybe ow, I'll meet ow, the clone ow, Will. Ow, ow, <laughs> ow, 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 ow. Ow, ow, ow. Tug, tugging on my pain meter. Hey guys, we want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, Stamps.com. <laughs> With Stamps.com, you can skip trips to the post office and save on postage. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send letters, ship packages, and pay less, a lot less, with discounted rates from USPS and UPS. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. It really does, man. Stamps.com could not be easier. We've used it before, and it was great. It made it so easy to send stuff in the mail. <laughs> Stamps.com brings the same U.S. postal and UPS shipping services right to your computer. <laughs> they make it easy for small businesses to mail and ship without needing to take a trip to the post office. <laughs> Print official U.S. postage and shipping labels 24-7 without having to leave your desk or buy any fancy equipment. <laughs> All you need is your computer and a standard printer. <laughs> Once your mail is ready, just schedule, pick up, or drop it off. It's that, it's that simple. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So stop wasting time going to the post office and go to stamps.com instead. Yeah. There's no risk. And with our promo code TMG, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. <laughs> Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. <laughs> That's stamps.com promo code TMG. Stamps.com. Never go to the post office again. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, like, in terms of... <clears throat> you know, lifestyle and I guess like daily schedule for the real Josh. Mm. What is that like? You know? Yeah. I feel, we feel like you have like the rock schedule. Yeah. Like right. You Where it's up. like down to the half an hour. It's like, and all day, every okay. day you're fucking taking Ubers all over the city. Like I got to go to Miami now I'm in <laughs> Vegas. And like when I FaceTimed you yesterday, you're on a flight back from Vegas. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I would say it's like, it's very, it's very scheduled, but Michael runs my schedule and you know, Michael. So he's like meticulous, right? He's like going through it, making sure I have something blocked off every 30 minutes or it's like, he'll put in blocks if I need like breaks, let's say too, but it's everything in my calendar. It's usually like wake up, like for, for this morning, it's wake up 7.45, um, shower, workout, hit a podcast with Dave. And then after the podcast, go into calls. So then I was doing calls from probably... 10.30 until I'd say four, then I had to read a script. And then after the script. How was it? A good script? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. Pretty cool. <laughs> Are you going to star in it? Is that? No, I think this one was for a producer. Oh, I yeah, see. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. How's yeah. the podcast going? Podcast, podcast is killing it from yeah. what I see in my dungeon when I'm watching the episodes. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, they're great. Wait, we gave you a fucking TV? No, <laughs> no we had to smuggle that <laughs> shit. No, take, yeah, it yeah. take it out. Get it out that bitch. <laughs> There's a little like 1995 long ass tiny TV. In there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're just like on YouTube somehow. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, no, but the podcast has been doing amazing. Like Dave's obviously a character, right? Yeah. So it's, it's giving me a whole new demographic as well. And giving Dave a new demo, that was the whole plan going into it. It's like he's touching into this TikTok area. And then I had no male fans. Like, I mean, I would walk down the street and it's like, me, the only time a guy came up to me is if he was going to say some like slur at me and call me gay or something. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Like, like that was it. It was, it was brutal. Like there's a clip on TMZ. And I think I'm walking and like the odd one time in my life ever, I fucking am hanging out with Jacob Sartorius, right? And, and, this, <laughs> and, they, and we're, we're walking down Melrose. And this is like when I was like 17, I think. And these like five guys walk by us and they just start yurping us because they see that like there's TMZ film, right? So they're like, oh, this will be funny. Like, oh, 
So they just started yerping us. <laughs> nice <saying> boils. Like, <laughs> nice boils. Who let you out of the cage? <laughs> nice boils, clone boy. <laughs> nice job. Fucking. Nice jawbone. It is actually a sick. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up, we ended up like, I ended up turning around in the middle of the paparazzi video and just started like walking them down. Cause I was like, I'm not going to get bitched out on like TV. That would suck. Right? Yeah. So I started like walking. And I think like, TMZ just didn't even follow me because they were like, we don't give a fuck about you. We're filming Jacob, right? Like, I was nobody at this time. I was so like... you're just a dude who looks so like you walked <laughs> off camera? Yeah. Fucking yeah. hold on. <laughs> what did you say to me? <laughs> yeah. Um, just, wait, you got Noel? Yeah. It's just like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Get him out. Get him out. Uh, but then, yeah, just like walked up, started your... But like... That was that was like the male demo. It, like that's what I would have interactions with. And then now after the bar stool, I think like one, I was able to show more depth of who like Josh Richards was besides just like Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That type of shit. <laughs> and then and then but you were doing <laughs> What was that? Ow, that, ow, was, ow, that was a ow, ow, that was a clone move. That, like we bad, don't know yeah. all the updated dances. True, true, true. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. But, <laughs> a clone move. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we're doing down there. <laughs> Just clone, <laughs> stupid clone moves. <laughs> <laughs> it's the woe, but then you jerk off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that's that's what we'd be doing in the basement <laughs> but no it just gave me that demo like now i'll go to sports games or go wherever and it's like oh shit like there's guys everywhere like i used to be able to go to like a hockey game or something would not have to worry about anything like, yeah wouldn't have yeah. to worry about a picture nothing and now it's like which is super cool yeah it's, it's crazy to see <laughs> yeah, like the hell new yeah demo. dude all only dudes <laughs> <laughs> now it's my only dudes. dudes that's what i'm talking about now all the guys but that girls were... get that get that dude in my in my fandom Hell yeah. <laughs> now all the dudes that were chirping at you are chirping at you and then asking oh, for a photo yeah. after. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, what's I, up, man? You look gay. <laughs> I would love a picture. Yeah. You're awesome, man. <laughs> Dude, for sure, man. I love when dudes enter my fandom. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's Come different because you guys Slip had in, it always, though. <laughs> Slip into my fandom, my guy. <laughs> Let's take a pic. Yo, fellas, what's you guys, up? You guys it's Josh it easy, Richards man. here. You guys had guys from the start, so it's so easy. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, so no, we, get, we get guys <laughs> all day, every day, man. Yeah. What up? It's your boy Josh Richards, and I just want to give a shout out to all the fellows out there who want to slip into my fandom. <laughs> want to slip in you. these boils? Yeah. Hey, who wants to slip up on this puss, bro? These boil <laughs> pusses. Oh, no, oh, no. No. <laughs> Dude, is it is puss not the worst word? It is. is the English language? Yeah. yeah. Puss. Puss. I said puss, I think, on accident. I think you said puss. You said <laughs> slip into my puss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we really fucked up yeah. the clones. Yeah. <laughs> we really did not get them completely accurate. Damn. Yeah, bro. I'm batting like a low 100. So <laughs> <laughs> the clones are fucked. Um, oh, uh, fuck. So I. <laughs> wait, I oh, just, fuck. <laughs> Clone Bryce waking up. <laughs> Where's my cock? <laughs> fuck. It's just smooth. Give me a dumbbell. <laughs> ah! <laughs> it's just smooth. It looks like a Ken doll down there. It's just nothing. It's just so uh, soft skin. <laughs> that was brutal. Hell I can't yeah. cry because it would hurt. <laughs> I'm laughing. That hurts too. <laughs> Everything hurts. Everything hurts. Ow. Even screaming hurts. The, the salt from the tears like sting my boils. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the thing that trips me out. How old are you? 19. The fuck? Like, we talk about this shit all the time. When any of us were 19, we did not talk like you. Yeah. Well, how were you talking? Yeah, Just, man, I was doing calls, and then I got a fucking this and that. No 19-year-old had that. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I have um, biology. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was in a writing class <laughs> when I was a sophomore in college called the Biology of Apes, where I was just writing about how bonobos have sex that's what i was doing when i was 19. that's kind of cool yeah yeah i don't know if i'd pass that up <laughs> dungeon writing about apes having sex <laughs> well the real josh would be like oh that's cool i'm working on a movie about apes having sex yeah, exactly. See, if i was yeah, the real josh he, he would have said something part. cool and smart like that <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> another <laughs> shitty clone movie yeah. <laughs> Fuck. damn what were you doing when you're 19. i'm trying to think i was i think i was working Three jobs, only one of them paid. Yeah, I was working at Best Buy. Yeah. I was interning at a music studio, getting humiliated every day. And then I worked for like an artist management company. I was interning there, 
sort of humiliating myself. Okay. Already. They gave me free merch and stuff. So you stuff. always were trying to do music stuff. Like, um, is yeah. that why you guys did like the Tiny Meat Gang music? Like you were just always into that? I mean, it was no, that like was a, because we wanted to make sick ass music. Yeah, right. You just wanted to fuck all the time. You get hella roadies. <laughs> yes, nice. yeah, we wanted roadies. <laughs> That's yeah. sick. Yeah, yeah. That's roadies. yeah. Two engineers sat out and were like, "We should make music and get roadies." <laughs> <laughs> that would work well for us. Yo, where are the girls? Bro? We need to write some music. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it was uh it was actually like some corny Disney movie shit because Cody wanted to, you know make some kind of like goofy song and uh he was like come on let's just do it and i was like nah man that part of my life is over <laughs> yeah that chapter, that's beneath me now yeah. that chapter is closed i was basically was like, like so he had to like over. he had to like pull you out of that that yeah place i was like i made a beat wow just come over and just for like an hour and <laughs> that's we'll just, just freestyle do some was, stupid shit on it, and he's it like, was, <laughs> dude i can't man it was basically fast and furious but with music yeah yeah, yeah, right, exactly. right, right. Cody was the cop. You guys ever yeah. see like you've then, seen those all American memes at all about um uh on TikTok about the that main character dude that's always just like I don't need help. I like he's always just like super in denial the entire fuck you guys don't know. Of what? Fast? All American? Oh what's all American? Damn, really? What is that? It's a like TV a football show? show, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's like yeah, on I've right now. It. I've seen it's it. like huge. Oh, really? I've definitely yeah. seen that. I've never heard of that. I know that huh. show. <laughs> well, yeah, I dude, know that fucking show. Clone too, fucking up again. I'm 16, man. I know that show. I, I mean, like, American. All right. <laughs> but yeah, that was basically me. Like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I got, I'm I got. The and then he came and he, you know, put down his his verse like apprehensively, and then he did that, and I looked at him and said, "Where'd you learn how to rap like that?" <laughs> I was like. <laughs> This is really some like easy E straight out of Compton, <laughs> hopping yeah. in the studio. That's awesome. I did two years in Law Park. I'll die before I go back. <laughs> and Cody was like, You gotta do another verse, man. And then yeah, rest rest is his family. Yeah. That's how it went yeah. down. <laughs> it's for family. family. Yeah. <laughs> you have to quickly shout out Vinny Bennett, the dude who played <laughs> young Vin Diesel in the new Fast Nine. I hung out with him recently. And I was like, dude, do a fast nine line. He's from New Zealand. Right. And he's like the most laid back dude ever. When he went into like young Dom mode, I was dying. Cause he's like, oh, okay, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> but he's like, hold on, hold on. Or no, hold I on. can't do New Zealand Hold accents. on, eh? No. No, that's nar, too British. Nar. Hor, hold on. <laughs> yeah. Sounded like you had like an ice cube in your mouth. Yeah. Like, hold on. Right? That's kind like, of New yeah. Zealand, right? Yeah. Hot. Hold on. How's that? <laughs> no. Nah, okay. Nah, yeah. Man. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Let him sound like you were drowning a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks to camera and he just goes like, <clears throat> and his voice goes like two octaves deeper and he's like, it's all about family. Like American <laughs> as fuck. I'm like, how do you do that? He's like, I don't know, man. I'm just watch American TV and I just act like you guys. I'm like, that's crazy. Dang. Anyway. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh. You've completed your 200th episode. Oh. Sick. Oh, yeah, man. Thanks for being a part. No, no problem. Yeah. yeah. All right. Hell yeah. All right. Get, get the fuck back get the downstairs. Fuck back downstairs. All right. Keep moving. Just in case. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, man. Happy 200th. Happy 200. Wait. Um,. Candace told me earlier she had something for us. Oh, what is it? I have a surprise. Look at that. Whoa. Huh. A couple trophies for the boys. And? A an 200th episode. Anal probe. <laughs> and an anal probe. <laughs> <laughs> we finally have our own anal finally. probe. <laughs> something we can put in our ass. Um, thank you all for supporting us this long. This is fucking sick. Yeah, this is dope as hell. Thank you, Candace. Uh, Thank you all. 200 episodes, man. This is crazy. 200 episodes. And we finally got our own MTV Movie Awards. Yeah. All, that's all it took was, <laughs> was our own spaceship making them for us. No, this is, uh, this is a big moment. Thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Yeah. What we else can it. we say? 200 episodes. Well, now 201 because we got to go do the bonus. But Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Grind never stops. It never stops, dude. <laughs> the sauce. Yeah, and we heard the bonus gets pretty crazy. Yeah, it does. It, it will, hopefully. 
We'll see. We actually already recorded it, so yeah. it did get weird. <laughs> so check it out. <laughs> All right, gang. Goodbye. Peace.